Recent conflicts, such as the Russia-Ukraine war, Israel's confrontation with Gaza, and increasing tensions between Israel, Iran, and their proxies, have exposed vulnerabilities in global defense systems and shifted geopolitical power dynamics. A notable development occurred on October 1, 2024, when Iran launched a significant missile attack on Israel, marking an escalation in the region. This attack, alongside U.S.-NATO involvement in Ukraine and growing Russian-Iranian cooperation, points towards a trajectory where regional conflicts could merge into a global confrontation, possibly World War III. This analysis explores the links between these conflicts, evolving alliances, and how they reflect the emergence of a new global paradigm. The war in Ukraine, which started in February 2022, remains a key global flashpoint. The conflict has drawn in major powers, especially the US and NATO, who have provided substantial military and financial support to Ukraine in an effort to resist Russian advances. US-NATO support for Ukraine. Since the war began, the West has offered extensive military aid to Ukraine, supplying advanced weaponry, such as long-range artillery, air defense systems, and more recently, F-16 fighter jets. The overarching goal of US-NATO support is to weaken Russia strategically while limiting the conflict spillover into NATO territories. However, the extent of NATO's involvement, particularly through intelligence sharing and equipment, has turned the war into a larger contest between the West and Russia. Russian response. In response, Russia has strengthened its alliances with other adversaries of the West, particularly Iran and North Korea. Iran, in particular, has become a key supplier of drones, which have been critical in Russia's efforts to target Ukrainian infrastructure. The Russia-Iran alliance has helped reshape the broader conflict into a proxy war that transcends the borders of Ukraine with implications for the Middle East and beyond. October 1, 2024, Iranian Missile Attack on Israel The Iranian missile attack on Israel in early October 2024 marks a new chapter in Middle Eastern hostilities. This attack, carried out by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, targeted Israeli military installations, energy infrastructure, and civilian areas. While Israel's defense systems, such as the Iron Dome, intercepted a large number of missiles, several managed to bypass these defenses, causing significant damage and casualties, destruction, and exposed vulnerabilities. The attack highlighted the increasing sophistication of Iran's missile technology. Some of the missiles that struck Israel included hypersonic capabilities, which overwhelmed parts of Israel's multi-layer defense systems, including Iron Dome and David Sling. The destruction caused by these missiles raised alarms about Israel's preparedness for sustained missile barrages, especially from a well-equipped adversary like Iran. Strategic Implications This attack represents a shift in Iran's strategy. Rather than relying on proxy forces like Hezbollah or Hamas, Iran has chosen to directly engage Israel militarily. This escalation suggests that Iran is increasingly confident in its military capabilities, likely boosted by its alliances with Russia and the technological advancements shared through their cooperation. This attack may trigger a more assertive Israeli response, potentially involving preemptive strikes against Iranian missile facilities or a broader campaign against Iranian assets in Syria and Lebanon. Moreover, it signals to global powers, especially the US, that Iran's military threat must be taken more seriously. Israel-Gaza Conflict and Regional Proxies Israel's conflict with Gaza, primarily involving Hamas, has simmered for decades. However, external forces such as Iran have heightened the intensity of these conflicts by supplying weapons and strategic advice to Palestinian groups. The Gaza conflict is now deeply intertwined with the larger Israeli-Iranian confrontation with Gaza serving as a battleground for Iranian proxy forces. U.S.-NATO Support for Israel The U.S. remains Israel's closest ally, providing substantial financial and military support to ensure its security in the region. The U.S. supplies Israel with state-of-the-art defense systems, including Iron Dome, which has been critical in defending against missile threats from Gaza and, more recently, Iran. However, the October missile attack has raised concerns within the U.S. and NATO about Israel's long-term security. With Iranian missiles breaking through Israeli defenses, there may be increased pressure on the West to enhance Israel's defense capabilities or provide more direct support. Iran's influence through proxies 
Iran's role in supporting groups like Hamas and Hezbollah is part of its broader strategy to weaken Israel through regional proxies. By arming these groups, Iran aims to stretch Israel's defenses thin across multiple fronts. In the event of a full-scale war, these proxies would likely play a significant role in opening multiple theaters of conflict for Israel. Israel versus Iran and Israel versus Houthis. The broader conflict between Israel and Iran is no longer confined to indirect skirmishes and cyber warfare. The October missile attack, alongside recent escalations involving the Houthis, who are aligned with Iran, demonstrates that the region is moving towards direct military engagement. Houthis as Iranian proxies. The Houthis in Yemen, another Iranian-backed group, have launched attacks on Israeli-linked interests in the Red Sea, further complicating Israel's security landscape. These actions are part of a broader Iranian strategy to encircle Israel with hostile forces, applying pressure from all directions. Russian-Iranian Partnership Russia's partnership with Iran, particularly in military technology, has been crucial in enhancing Iran's missile capabilities. Moscow's provision of advanced missile systems and training to Iranian forces has bolstered Iran's ability to carry out precise and destructive attacks, as seen on October 1, 2024. This cooperation has also had significant geopolitical implications, with Russia using Iran as a proxy in its broader confrontation with the West. Turkey's role in the Muslim world Turkey, under President Erdogan, has positioned itself as a key power in the Muslim world. While technically a member of NATO, Turkey has increasingly pursued an independent foreign policy, often aligning itself with Russia and Iran on key issues, particularly in Syria. Turkey's ambiguous role in the conflict Turkey's relationship with NATO has become more complex in recent years. It maintains strong ties with the West, but it also supports the Palestinian cause and has engaged in military cooperation with Russia and Iran. Turkey's influence over Muslim-majority countries gives it significant leverage in regional conflicts, particularly in shaping the responses of countries like Qatar and Pakistan. Support for the Muslim world Turkey has taken a leading role in championing the rights of Muslims in conflict zones, particularly in Palestine. Turkey's stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has at times placed it at odds with Israel and its Western allies. However, its NATO membership and strategic importance in controlling key geographic choke points, such as the Bosporus Strait, ensure that Turkey remains a critical player in any potential global conflict. U.S. NATO and Russia-Iran, competing blocks and escalating tensions. The support provided by the U.S. and NATO to Israel and Ukraine has been mirrored by the growing cooperation between Russia and Iran. These alliances have laid the groundwork for a new Cold War-style division of the world into two competing blocs, U.S.-NATO alliance. The U.S. and its NATO allies have long supported Israel as a bulwark of stability in the Middle East. However, the increasing complexity of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the direct involvement of Iran has forced the U.S. to reconsider its level of involvement. Meanwhile, in Europe, NATO's support for Ukraine has drawn the alliance into a protracted confrontation with Russia, creating a two-front geopolitical struggle. Russia-Iran Cooperation Russia's military and technological support for Iran has transformed Tehran's ability to project power across the Middle East. The October 1 missile attack is a testament to this deepening cooperation, as Iran's missile technology has improved significantly, likely with Russian assistance. This partnership signals a realignment of global powers, with Russia using Iran to exert influence in the Middle East, just as the U.S. uses Israel and Ukraine to counterbalance Russian aggression. The link to World War III, a global realignment? The October 1st Iranian missile attack on Israel, alongside the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war and rising tensions in the Middle East, points towards a growing risk of a larger global conflict, potentially World War III. Several factors suggest that these regional conflicts are coalescing into a broader confrontation between the world's major powers. 1. Direct Attacks and Proxy Warfare Iran's direct missile attack on Israel marks a shift from proxy warfare to direct military engagement. This escalation could draw in larger powers, particularly the U.S. and Russia, who have vested interests in the region. 2. Technological Advances and Military Strategy the October attack demonstrated the growing importance of missile technology and cyber warfare in modern conflicts. Iran's use of hypersonic missiles and drones has exposed vulnerabilities in Israel's defense systems, 
raising the stakes for future confrontations. 3. Global Power Alignments The U.S.-NATO alliance is increasingly confronting the Russia-Iran axis, creating a Cold War-like division. These alliances, along with Turkey's ambiguous role, suggest a realignment of global powers that could easily escalate into a larger war. 4. Economic Warfare and Sanctions Sanctions on Russia and Iran have further divided the global economy into competing blocks. As these economic sanctions tighten, the possibility of military confrontation increases, especially as countries seek to assert dominance in energy markets and strategic resources. The October 1st missile attack on Israel, combined with the broader conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East, signals a dangerous escalation in global hostilities. The alliances forming between the US, NATO, Russia, and Iran suggest that regional conflicts are evolving into a potential global confrontation. With each passing conflict, the risk of a wider war increases, making the specter of World War III a more plausible scenario. The evolving dynamics between US-NATO support for Israel and Ukraine, Russian backing of Iran, and Turkey's balancing act between its NATO membership and its support for the Muslim world reflect a global realignment that is edging closer to outright conflict. The October 1, 2024, Iranian missile attack on Israel serves as a critical reminder of the vulnerabilities even the most advanced defense systems possess, exposing the fragility of the current balance of power. It further emphasizes how rapidly technological and military advancements can shift the dynamics of a conflict. Meanwhile, proxy forces across multiple regions, whether in Gaza, Ukraine, or Yemen, continue to stretch the capacities of major powers driving them toward more direct confrontation. In essence, the world is witnessing a gradual merging of conflicts that were once contained within specific regions into a broader global struggle. With the US and NATO on one side and Russia, Iran, and their regional allies on the other, the stage is being set for what could be a full-scale world war. This potential global conflict, driven by technological advancements, competing alliances, and resource control, may very well be a future World War III. The events of 2024 have brought this possibility closer than ever before. In this increasingly polarized world, diplomacy and restraint will be critical in averting the escalation of these conflicts into an uncontrollable and devastating global war. However, without significant shifts in international relations and a renewed commitment to peace, the path toward World War III may become inevitable.